Concentration. I think that the ability to focus and concentration are the two keys to success in life. That the ability to focus clearly and know exactly what it is you want to accomplish and the ability to concentrate single-mindedly on accomplishing that one thing without diversion or distraction are the keys to success. It's the number one key to effectiveness is to be able to sit down and look at your work and use the 80-20 rule. Say to yourself, which is the 20% of the number of things that I have to do that account for 80% of the value of my work and always work on the top 20%. You see, in life there's never enough time to do everything, but there's always enough time to do the important things. Instead of doing what is fun and easy, which is what most people do, you know what they do? They make a list of everything they have to do and then they start at the bottom of the list and they work on the irrelevant things. At the end of the day, they haven't got anything done. Successful people, peak performers, concentrate on the top items and remember anything other than working on the top items on your list is a waste of your time and time management it's not just time management. Time management is life management. You can do anything you want with your life if you'll manage your time properly. We all have the same 24 hours a day and the ability to concentrate, 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 to discipline yourself, to use willpower and perseverance to concentrate on one thing at a time is a quality of all success. Nothing great has ever been accomplished without the ability to concentrate single-mindedly on one thing at a time. Always concentrate on the best use of your time. Here is my favorite time management question, which I give to you for free. It's simply this. Before you start anything, ask yourself, what is, the, what is the most valuable use of my time right now? Make a list and say, what is the most valuable use of my time right now? When you get into your car, say, what is the most valuable use of my time right now? When you leave the house or leave the office, say, what is the most valuable use of my time right now? Ask yourself that question over and over and over again. Repeat it and repeat it and repeat it until it's driven into the subconscious mind as a command. And whenever you have a temptation to do something that is small and irrelevant, that command will go, blam, what is the most valuable use of your time right now? And you'll, ooh, and it'll push you into doing what is the most valuable use of your time. And whenever you're working on the most valuable use of your time, you feel great. You get concentrated effort is a source of energy and enthusiasm. It makes you feel wonderful when you're working on something important and it makes you feel nothing when you're working on something irrelevant. Develop a sense of urgency. A sense of urgency is a quality that is possessed by only 2% of the population. 2% of the population do things fast. 2% of the population have a bias for action. In, to, in Tom Peters' wonderful book, In Search of Excellence, he says all the excellent companies have a bias for action. And all of the companies that do not classify or do not come into the excellence category do things when they get around to it. You call them up and you have a problem or a complaint. You hear from them three or four weeks later. But the excellent companies, you call up with a problem or a complaint, and bang, there's somebody back to you in two minutes. If you ever want an experience, call IBM, call Hewlett Packard, and say, I'm having a problem uh, getting some information. I'm having a problem with my PC. They won't let you off the phone until they've taken care of you. You call the other companies, they'll say, it's not my job. They'll say, the guy who takes care of that isn't here. When will he be back? I don't know. Can you take a message? I don't have a pencil. And then they can't understand why they're struggling. You know that 20% of the companies make 80% of the profits in every industry, interestingly enough? So develop a sense of urgency. Get the reputation as the person who does things fast. Develop a reputation for speed and dependability and your future will just open up in front of you. Imagine if you owned a company and you had two people in the company and both of them were reasonably well talented, both of them were doing reasonably well, except one person had a sense of urgency and did things fast and every time you give them something to do, they took it and they ran with it like a ball player catching a fumble and running for the goal line. The other person got to it after lunch or maybe next Monday or no rush, week's almost over, Thursday afternoon, and so on. Which one would you give additional responsibility to? Which one would you promote? Which one would you spend money training? Which one would you send to places where you needed help? It's always the person with a sense of urgency. I can tell you this, that the sense of urgency for me has been worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. As a consultant, I have been able to save my clients sometimes millions of dollars by acting fast when they've given me a project to take care of. Whereas if I had acted even a day later, it could have cost a fortune. And if you'll develop that habit of working fast, working fast, that sense of urgency, act now, do it now, do it now, do it now, in selling especially. Somebody calls you up and has a question, get back to them now. Somebody has a problem, get back to them now. Somebody needs something, move on it quickly. If you have to forego coffee breaks or lunch or something else, move fast. If you develop that reputation for speed, it will be worth a fortune to you. It takes a little while, but it's a habit. Most people just sort of shuffle through life. You know, they get to it when they feel like it. But all the excellent people, all the high performers have a sense of urgency. And finally, complete each job that you start. Get on with the job and stay with it till it's 100% finished. The difficulty that people have in completing their tasks is absolutely amazing. In a study amongst uh, 106 chief executive officers last year, they were asked what qualities out of 26 
would be most important in putting a person on the fast track to success in your company. And they agreed almost unanimously on two qualities. Number one, the ability to set priorities, to determine what is relevant and separate it from what is irrelevant. And number two is a sense of urgency, the ability to get on with the job and get it finished and get it finished fast.